Other news tonight, jury selection continues in the Derek Chauvin trial. So does the legal maneuvering. Judge Cahill reinstated the charge of third-degree murder today. It's a move that has major strategic implications, and the legal maneuvering is far from over. Here's Tom Lydon of the Fox 9 Investigators. Murder in the third degree is reinstated as originally charged. Judge Peter uh, Cahill reluctantly case, put murder three back on the table. The appeals court really left him little choice. But if you think the controversy's over... It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. Think again. The law around third degree murder in Minnesota is unsettled. The NOR decision kind of turned the general understanding of third degree murder on its head in Minnesota. In a 2-1 decision, the Minnesota Appeals Court had upheld the conviction of Minneapolis police officer Mohamed Noor in the killing of Justine Damon. The state Supreme Court will review that decision in June. You think the Supreme Court, the Minnesota Supreme Court, is set up to reverse this? I do, and, and it would be the right decision. Defense attorney Joe Friedberg says it's a misuse of a law originally intended for random or drive-by shootings. It's what we call a Mardi Gras statute. It's where you're at the Mardi Gras and you point your pistol straight up in the air and shoot it and the bullet comes down and kills somebody. The Murder 3 statute is a linguistic minefield, causing the death of someone during an act eminently dangerous to others and with a depraved mind, without regard for human life. The term depraved mind isn't even defined, but the real problem is the word others, in layman's terms, meaning more than one person. It has never been thought to apply to a person who kills another person, and there's nothing that Chauvin did in this case that was imminently dangerous to others. Nobody else could have got hurt by his actions. What does murder three give a jury that they don't get with unintentional second degree murder? Anything else they could get the jury to hang their hat on. I mean, any little difference. The prosecution wants to give this jury a hundred coat hooks, if you will. Defense attorney Ryan Basiga says murder three is not only a fallback for a jury, it might also give prosecutors leverage if a plea bargain is ever back on the table. As Fox 9 first reported, such a deal fell apart last May when the feds backed out. We thought we would have another development that I could tell you about. The problem is the guideline sentence of second degree unintentional murder and murder three is the same, 10 to 15 years in prison, and prosecutors are unlikely to offer manslaughter. You want to run around town telling people you've got a manslaughter? Not fun. You want to tell them you're a convicted murderer? No way. I don't see how it moves the needle on any plea agreement. I think that ship has sailed. Former Ramsey County attorney Susan Gertner also believes the Minnesota Supreme Court will settle the question eventually. But the August body is deliberative, not reactive. The Minnesota Supreme Court just said at this point, it's not time for us to get involved. It's just not the way the Supreme Court works. And so Judge Cahill is left with a legal dilemma. A murder three charge he doesn't believe in and one he could yet dismiss or wait to be overruled by the Minnesota Supreme Court. All over one not so simple word. I find this kind of amazing that we are debating legally what the word others means and whether it means more than one person. If I had a good response to your question, Tom, I would have said it, but I don't. Tom Lydon, Fox 9. Meantime, another juror has been seated in Derek Chauvin's trial. There are now six people on this jury. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey joining us here in the studio tonight. And Courtney, video of George Floyd's death is playing.